in their first trip to Cornwall as a couple since receiving their new titles as the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall following the passing of the late Queen. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Please subscribe to my channel King and Queen. So let's get started. Prince William and Kate Middleton visited Falmouth to learn about its maritime legacy. The Prince and Princess of Wales recently paid their first formal trip to Cornwall as a married couple. During an afternoon of engagements in the harbour town of Falmouth, the couple went to the National Maritime Museum of Cornwall. With a red dress underneath and cozy heeled boots, Kate looked chic in a chestnut brown Hobbs coat that she originally appeared in in 2012. After the passing of his grandmother and the ascension of his father, King Charles, to the throne, Prince William assumed the role of the heir apparent and was referred to as the Prince of Wales. As the Duke of Cornwall and Cambridge, he also inherited the title of Duke of Cornwall. Kate is now referred to as the Duchess of Cornwall, the Princess of Wales, and the Cambridge. The pair welcomed the well-wishers who had gathered outside the museum, some of whom had brought lovely flowers for Kate. Inside, they saw workers who were restoring Kiwi, a 14-foot sailing dinghy that the late Queen and Prince Philip received as a wedding gift from the Royal New Zealand Navy. They conversed with kids and observed a model boat racing between students from the neighborhood schools. The Duke and Duchess will learn about Cornwall's maritime history before visiting a neighborhood community center that goes above and beyond to provide opportunities for people while fostering a supportive and cohesive community, according to a spokesman for the pair. Since assuming the title of Duke of Cornwall from his father, William made his first official trip to Cornwall in November. At Nukeway Orchard, which provides environmental education, employability training, and community events, he later met workers, volunteers, and young people. Following the Army officer's record-breaking voyage to Antarctica, Kate previously visited Derby and lauded Captain Preet Chandy's amazing polar adventure. She then traveled to Cornwall today. On Wednesday, Kate paid a visit to Lando Fort College in Derby, the hometown of Captain Chandy, only days after the 34-year-old, also known as Polar Preet, had returned to the UK. Captain Chandy completed her journey in 70 days and 16 hours, breaking the previous record for the longest unassisted solo polar expedition by 922 miles, 1,484 kilometers. Kate joined the challenge as a patron at the end of October, which Capt Chandy called a amazing honor. The two spoke over the phone before Chandy left for home in November. Thank you for watching. Write what you think about it. Thus you be to the channel.